shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw here on first down. Gets it off to Freeman. Touchdown, Chicago! Their dangerous wide receiver, 40 yards! And the fumble recovery leads to six points. Brandon, they just got the ball, and already they're in the end zone, and you're getting ready to talk about the PAT. That was fast. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. They'll look to throw. Throws left side. And he's got it. They convert for two, and that gets them even closer. Now a two-point game. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Miller, the lone set man. On first and ten, it's Osweiler. And this will complete to Will Fuller. They'll get 23 yards there. And that'll be good for a Houston first. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing in the middle, he can really see everything. And now Miller hit it, and he fumbles. Texan player was able to get his hands on it, and they will indeed hold on to the ball and the possession. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Back now at beautiful new U.S. Bank Stadium. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. So now they're in much better shape for third down. So the offense needing four yards. It's third down. Out of the gun, it's Osweiler. And he's got the completion of Hopkins. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Up on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating defensively. You're way away from getting that football back here, down late. Top. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Time is starting to run out, really becoming a factor. We'll see if the defense can get the stop they need to get the ball back to the offense. How many times do we say in this game the speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. And this kid can't find anyone. And down he goes. Osweiler sacked. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second down, here's Miller. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Now defensively here, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. This from 48 yards. And Novak's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to five. 
So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. On the return, the old reliable Devin Hester, the veteran. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. And heading back onto the field now, the Texans' defense. And they'll see if they can get one final stop with this crowd behind them. And let's face it, as much as we want to say it's all about the guys on the field, they can get some help right here from the home court. And they're going to try their best to get them motivated. Get and I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. Coaches really don't care for what position they get this. But run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. team chase you. This fielded at the two. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Go left, go left. One receiver left, three to the right. Here we go, 319! 319! He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep down field. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, the right, best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the... Oh, a pressure there as it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.